Hi everyone, it's Naila and welcome to Naletech Studio. If you are new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe and hit the like button and let's get started with this video. So this is the floor plan for the gazebo that you have seen at the intro of the video and we are going to really try and see how far Archicad can push us in terms of 2D representation. So we are going to use a 3D document for this. So we will go to the MacQ tool, click the first point hover over the drawing, clip the next point, just make sure the area that you want to represent is in the MacQ area and then right click and create a new 3D document and I can name this like coward plan one. Okay, then I say create. And this is what I have, which is not exciting, but we can change some things in order to make it exciting. Right click here on the tab and select 3D document settings. So in these settings, we can tweak a few things. One is under floor plan projection. We can raise the cutting area to somewhere above above this worktop here about 1.2 and then we can show stories beneath such that we have the green area which is on which is below the zero mark in model display we can override the of the cut surface to just keep it black such that it stands out as a cut surface and for the uncut surface, you might want to change it to own surface, non-shaded, such that we are able to manipulate these shadows to something that we like. Mm, yeah, 50% will do. So the uncut surface, we can, for now, because we have so many pens, uh, change it to to 0.31 but if you want more control you may need to uncheck that we need to check uh, vectoral hatching in order to enable the lines in this 3d document okay that's just about it for now we press ok and we have ourselves a pretty decent starting point but of course some things just aren't right yet one is we have a few 2d representations that are unnecessary like these arrows on the grass this stuff in the concrete and let's fix that so alt click in order to select uh, this mesh so we go to options element attributes and surfaces so here in surfaces we have this green selected and we can go here and decide that we do not need this background really it's um, not working well and for the concrete we select the concrete I think it's auto we also decide that we don't need it to show and, and actually I think we can use a render on it to give an illusion of the concrete and for the grass that we just changed, I think it might use a little bit of tweaking of the color. We take it just a bit down. I think I like a lighter green that is not going to compete with the rest of the drawing. And that goes for the concrete. We can also make it a little lighter so yeah so that flow board that i used it was flow board 01 i can make it just a little less saturated it's a bit too much yeah i think something like that so let's press ok and i see what happens look at that that's so cool some interesting things are beginning to happen, but um, let's, let's also change a bit more things. I think this countertop is way too dark. We can go back in options, element attributes, surfaces. So it's stone, marble, something here. We can turn it down. It's a bit too dark. Yes, I think that will do. And I think that carpet, we could make it a little darker. Yeah, it could use a little, a little more dark color. And that's enough about colors. Yeah, that, 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 that looks good so far. But this feel in the concrete doesn't look right. So we can go in 
option element attributes and fields and this time we can get the carpet fill and uh, we need to scale it down it's a bit uh, too too tiny and say okay i can use a scale of one one and see well i think it needs to be refreshed for some reason well it will need to update and i think i might need to use a bit darker of this shade of these shadows they are too light so I'll go back to the settings and let's tweak those shadows so we were using uh 50 percent of this but i think let's use a black one and use 25 percent of it and we say okay oh god I am happy with this. <laughs> this is so good. So the carpet updated, you can see, and the material looks nice. And I think, why not? You have yourselves something that you're looking for. But of course, uh, Archicad's objects are not the best. Those plants aren't um, as convincing, and so is this couch. So you could bring in the things from the outside. So let's try and drop in some stuff. So right here, we have these things. If you're interested, they're in the description. And uh, let's drag and drop it here. For example, this couch first and we try to put it in and the way Archicad works let's put it here and then i display order right click display order and bring to front so you can see that it's uh, currently on top of this but uh, not yet as convincing so you want to check transparency to take away the background and let's drag and place it on top of this and I absolutely love it. It's um, pretty good. So you can scale it down. Shortcut for scaling down is Ctrl K. Just um, be sure to scale it just a bit down so it doesn't consume a lot of space. Just make sure it is still believable in its placement. And of course, you can see that uh, Archicad is not treating the edges so well. So, I mean, that's what you get for using a software that is not meant for this stuff. So, but if you ask me, I think I absolutely love what it has done with trying to do away with the background of an imported image. Let's bring another image for the fire and set this thing ablaze Ooh, it's burning and let's check the transparency right click and bring it to front and i think this is quite good how it has dealt with it so let's control k to size it down and we will have it so small such that it fits within this thing rotate and size it down i think i need it smaller just take it until you are satisfied we can even make copies of these Control d to make copies to fill it in because uh unlike photoshop we might not be able to mask this thing so you want to make it as small as possible and hopefully multiply and we have ourselves a chimney that's on fire as well you can bring the plants which are there so let's select right click and bring to front and check transparency ctrl k to resize and make it as small as to hide whatever is happening here and we need two more copies of this ctrl shift d to drag ctrl shift d to drag and 
Of course, some imperfections are there because Archicad is not treating PNGs accurately well, but um, the other option that you do have actually is to bring in a model, the actual model in Archicad, which is uh, easy to do. And maybe I'll make a video on how to import a model with that. But also you have to be careful when you're importing a model because Archicad will often times be heavier and start to crash if you use many models that are imported within. Let's also bring this finally and place it at the segmented column area. Because we are using 2D elements, we are not able to work with the shadows to make this part lighter and this one to be in a shadow. So, like I said, that's what you get. But overall, if you ask me, I think I genuinely love this and I would use it. If you want more control of uh, making something a little bit more realistic, you can watch the Photoshop video that I have made. It's uh, The link is up here somewhere there and the also in the description below. Just go and check it out and you can be able to make something a little better than this. But for someone who is not familiar with Photoshop, I still think that this is a good option for you. Because here we have a few shortcomings that we cannot work with. Like, you know, naturally fading these shadows because of the radius of the sun, you would not have a perfect shadow here. It would, you know, have some tones. Uh, these PNGs would be a bit more crisp and also also the textures would be better improved and I just wish that uh, there was a way of importing a texture, a, 3D, a texture in this 3D document it would be kind of nice but currently I'm yet to find out whether it's possible thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye